Phoenix Suns forward Jared Dudley, 3, allows the ball to bounce out of bounds in the first half of an NBA basketball game against the Memphis Grizzlies, Monday, Jan. 29, 2018, in Memphis, 10. AP Photo, Brandon Dill, as a member of the Phoenix Suns' 54-win, 2010 Western Conference Finals run season, Jared Dudley saw the best of the Suns. As a member of these last two years, in which the team had a combined 45 wins and is now on their third coach, the forward saw the worst. But on Friday morning, he woke up to a call from his agent. It wasn't a surprise. I do wish it wasn't so early in the morning, Dudley said on Bickley. The 33-year-old had been traded from Phoenix, his home for seven seasons over two different stints, to the Brooklyn Nets, a team he almost signed with in 2016. It's kind of crazy, because in free agency two years ago, Brooklyn actually was more interested in me than Phoenix. I almost went there, it was really neck and neck, Dudley said. It's kind of me going full circle. Nets management told Dudley they think his basketball IQ and shooting will be good for their system. Brooklyn was able to achieve strides record-wise that the Suns haven't been able to do, despite trading away their lottery picks. Dudley expects to have more on-court time than he did with the Suns over their rebuilding years, particularly last season. He will back up forward Rondé Hollis Jefferson at the 4, 98.7 Arizona Sports Station's John Gambadoro tweeted. I envision myself as a bigger playing role, making outside threes, ball movement, being a communicator, and when you're a good communicator and have positive energy, I feel like that's a contagious thing. Dudley said, I'm going to embrace it even more in Brooklyn. He and the Suns discussed a buyout over the last couple weeks but without a clear landing spot, Dudley didn't want to risk free agency as roster spots were filling up. But he found a team with interest in his abilities on the court and knowledge to mentor the young players. He's off to New York. Dudley leaves Phoenix at a time when the team looks poised to improve and guard Devin Book rose him dinners from the young guard's $158 million max contract, all the dinners I paid for those guys. Boy, I tell you, but he has very little regret from his time as a son. While Dudley understands why his minutes decrease, he wishes he could have seen his work translate to more wins. Obviously, I would have loved to play more, but that wasn't in the cards, and I understood that taking that contract, he said. My only disappointment is that record-wise, it didn't show a jump, you want to see improvement the next year, kind of like Brooklyn. He thinks his work paid its dividends, though. Dudley said Booker is ready to take the next step of becoming a confident, vocal leader, he has given the young star advice, including this offseason, as the two worked out together in Los Angeles. Phoenix is ready to make a jump. The Suns have no choice but to go up, he said. Guys will be going full throttle. The time for going after top picks is over for them, they have the keys, new coach coming in. Fans should be excited, Booker's ready to go. I think everyone should be excited in both parties. After arriving in Phoenix for the first time as a young adult at age 23, Dudley departs for what may be the last time as a 33-year-old with three kids. I grew up as a young adult to a man. I experienced winning and how to be a pro from Steve Nash and Grant Hill. I experienced a transition of being a leader and helping young guys out and have always been a community guy, trying to give back, he said. Phoenix is home, but who knows, maybe this isn't goodbye, you never know, Dudley said. 10, 15 years from now, I might be the GM or head coach there. Follow at Logan. Newsman.